India's geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle, GSLV F08, is now standing tall majestically on the second launch pad at ISRO's Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, with its passenger satellite safely ensconced in its payload fairing. Geosynchronous launch vehicle of ISRO, a three-stage launch vehicle system, is designed to launch two-ton class satellites into geosynchronous transfer orbit. The first stage of the launch vehicle consists of a solid core with four liquid strap-on motors. The second stage is a liquid stage and the upper stage uses cryogenic propulsion. The cryogenic upper stage of GSLV carries cryogenic propellants namely liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen in two separate tanks. The liquid oxygen LOX in short is the oxidizer and is stored at minus 183 degrees Celsius while liquid hydrogen LH2 in short is stored at minus 253 degrees Celsius GSLV F08 is the 12th flight of GSLV and its sixth flight with indigenous cryogenic upper stage with respect to its 3.4 meter diameter metallic payload fairing GSLV F08 is similar to the previous GSLV flights. However, this flight incorporates some major improvements. The induction of high thrust Vikas engine, HTVE, in the second stage will enhance its performance. Induction of electromechanical actuation system in place of electrohydraulic actuation system shall also lead to improved reliability. Vikram Sarabhai Space Center at Thiruvananthapuram and the Liquid Propulsion Center at Valiamala and Bengaluru are the main contributors for the launch vehicle development. The ISRO Propulsion Complex IPRC at Mahindragiri has tested, assembled and integrated propulsion systems and stages of GSLV F08. All stage and engine related tests of ISRO's launch vehicles are carried out here. The ISRO Inertial Systems Unit, IISU, at Thiruvananthapuram has designed, developed and qualified the inertial sensors and systems for the launch vehicles. All solid motors are realized in SDSC Shah. Let us now take you through a series of events in a typical launch. In this mission, the GSLV will be launched from the second launch pad which was developed to accommodate PSLVs, GSLV Mark II and Mark III. In this, the vehicle is assembled and checked on a mobile launch pedestal in the Vehicle Assembly Building, VAB, and later moved to the launch pad on rails. This method reduces the pad occupancy and enables the vehicle to move back to VAB for protection in the event of any cyclone warning or other threat. 83 meters tall, 40 meters long and 32 meters wide VAB is equipped with six sets of foldable come vertically repositionable access platforms, a clean room and two cranes for handling loads. A kilometer long rail track connects the VAB and launch pad. Launchpad has a 70 meter tall umbilical tower. Three vertical repositionable and swiveling access arms provide access to the vehicle. Mobile launch pedestal, MLP, over which the vehicle is integrated, is a 16 wheeled bogey with four jacks that would lift the launch pedestal.